here, we have a diaphragm pump performance curve. In this particular example, we'll be using an inch and a half pump, a model VA40 Verter air pump. On the left hand side, we have the air inlet pressure in bar, and on the right hand side, we have the air inlet pressure in PSI. This axis also indicates the liquid discharge pressure of the pump. Across the bottom, we have the flow rate of the pump in liters per minute or US gallons per minute. And in the boxes, which are referring to the dotted curves, we have the flow rate of air that is required at those points. So, to work out how much compressed air we need in terms of flow rate and air pressure, we pick out a duty point. It can be the point that we require the pump to operate at. So, if we take the example of 150 liters per minute at let's say 5.5 bar discharge pressure, that's discharge water pressure, we have a point about here, which, at this point, we need to travel up this solid curve, and that'll give us the amount of compressed air pressure that we need, which is 7 bar of compressed air, and the flow rate of air we need is approximately 40 cubic feet per minute. So the discharge pressure is 5.5 bar, as you can see here. But remember that if your duty point was here, you use this line here to measure your air pressure and this dotted line here for air consumption. Obviously, for duties between the curves, for example this point, simply draw imaginary lines to work out the approximate pressure and airflow. So in summary, the required flow rate of our example is 150 liters per minute at a discharge pressure of 5.5 bar and we need at least 7 bar at 40 cubic feet per minute of air supply. For further information or to request a quote, contact Global Pumps.